What's going on, everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar, and back by popular demand is the Retro View segment. So, let's get started talking about one of my favorite series of all time, Why the Last Man, and its many collected editions it's available in. And welcome back, everybody. Before getting started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Ring that bell for notifications. Check out our Patreon, amazing ways to support the channel if you can do so. And thank you to our existing patrons. Couldn't make videos like this possible without you all. So, here we have the different collected editions for Why the Last Man. I actually ended up buying the Why the Last Man trade paperbacks again because I wanted to give those away for our big 50k giveaway. Uh, but I'll probably end up giving away a couple other editions too. But I wanted to do a comparison as to what the best possible collected edition is to own this series. Because the series means so much to me. So let's start with the trade paperbacks and move our way up. Now, what is an overview without talking about the book and the premise of it? So I will be doing that. So here is the first trade paperback. There's a total of 10 of them, each one collecting about five to six issues. So the series started in 2002 and went all the way through 2008. So in 2003, they started releasing the trade paperbacks. They had no idea how many issues there were going to be in Vertigo DC. Um, decided to just start releasing five to six issues collected in trade paperback format. Now, the series is definitely mature content. There's a lot of sexual content, a lot of nudity, and a lot of violence in here. So just as a heads up, um, the series is being turned into a TV show, which is crazy. I just saw the first trailer. And the premise is pretty simple. The premise is all about Yorick, this young man right here, and his pet monkey, Ampersand. And in 2002, the entire Y chromosome was wiped out of existence on Earth. Except for him and his male monkey, Ampersand. And that's it. That's the mystery. What, what caused all this? So that's all you need to know in the first issue. And I'll be talking about the character soon in a little bit without going into spoiler territory. But that is the premise. And again, the trade paperbacks, of course, uh, being just five to six issues they have this flat matte paper as you expect from trade paperbacks uh they were just a great way to read them and if you weren't getting the single issues and they were coming out as the issues were wrapping up like every six issues they would already announce a new trade paperback and here is what all 10 of them look like and it's a shame vertigo decided to change its logo when it got to volume four so just as a heads up, um, I don't know when they start reprinting them in trade paperback format if they're going to have the black label logo now since Vertigo is no more, sadly. But this is what all of them look like. Now, in 2008, after the series was over, they decided to start publishing these oversized hardcover books. So let me just give you an idea how much bigger the artwork looks compared to the trade paperbacks. Trade paperbacks, like I've gone over in my different collected edition types, are the size of single issues. There's oversized hardcovers. They're as tall as Omnis and have the wideness of the Omnis. But here is the very first book of Why the Last Man in the Lux Edition is what these are called. And there were a total of five of these books collected and each one of these collecting 12 issues of the series. Um, well, actually, I take it back. Uh, this one here collects 1 through 10, and then the next one collects 11 through 23. Uh, starting the release in 2008 and ended, I believe, in 2011. This is the way that I upgraded because I had the trade paperbacks and I upgraded to this because I love this series. So what makes this series so endearing to me? Well, it's the characters. It's the story. It's the mystery. It's everything. It, it's about survival. And it's it's a very special series for my wife and I because um, I think I've talked about this before that when the final issue came out, we were about to fly to Japan. Japan. And oh, I'm sorry, the final trade paperback because that's what how we were reading them. We were reading them in trade paperback. Um, when the final volume came out, it came out the day before we flew to Japan, so we read it on our back porch together and held each other and cried because it has a beautiful ending. So. Uh, I talked about the characters. And I talked a, so I talked a little bit about the premise of the story. And again, Yorick and Ampersand being the only male specimens alive on the planet. And of course, this affected the entire planet. So when I said earlier that the, about the premise of the story being the entire male species dying, I mean every living mammal with the Y chromosome, including sperms, including embryos, all at the same time die. So this affected things that I didn't think about, like airplane pilots are mostly men. So all most of the airplanes that were flying around came crashing down. 
killed everyone, including women. And those are the kind of disasters that were happening around the world. So the concept is, is it's very Twilight Zone. It's very uh, outer limits. You have the last man on earth with his pet monkey. So, you know, in your head, I was in my 20s was this, when this was coming out. Of course, I thought, okay, all the women are going to want him. They're one they're going to want to repopulate the earth. And while some of them do, it's not the case. It's actually pretty damn scary what ends up happening. Now, there are a total of five of these books, these uh, oversized hardcovers, as I mentioned. And here's what all five of the oversized hardcovers look like. Uh, they all have a picture down here of the characters that are in this particular series and the vertigo logo is all the same i'm not sure what the reprints will look like if they'll also have the black label or not uh, but they all come with a nice dust jacket the dust jacket doesn't have a glossy finish to it, it has this flat matte finish to it as uh, the paper that's in here and then dc decided to make these into smaller collected editions so the same issue counts like one through ten here in volume one here let's show you some artwork from volume two here with brand new covers uh the same issues are collected in the soft cover version of this except it's not oversized it's just the size of a trade paperback but thicker because it has more issues so if this collects issues 11 through 23 that's how many issues volume two of the thick trade paperback uh are collected and i think that series started in 2013 i believe uh releasing these in thicker trades now, in 2015, DC started making these Absolute Editions. And the Absolutes, of course, come in their slipcase and have bigger artwork than the trade paperbacks or oversized hardcovers. These are beautifully done. So just to kind of give you an idea how much bigger the Absolute Editions are, here it is compared to the oversized hardcover, which is, like I mentioned, as tall as an omnibus and a trade paperback. So it's a lot bigger. Here is what all three of the absolutes look like together of course that's one side here and then the other side each one of them having art on the front and the back of the slip case as you saw earlier they don't have a dust jacket it's just art on the board itself and let's get this open and then talk a little bit more about this series so one thing i didn't mention are the creators and that is brian k vaughn and pia guerra now other artists join in on this like uh, Paul Chadway comes in for uh, some fill-in issues but it's mainly Pia Guerra and Brian K. Vaughn. And the series lasted 60 issues that's it so from 2002 to 2008 was coming out every month and then I think for the last six issues it was coming out bi-monthly so every um, every other month is when the series is coming out. So I mentioned some of the characters uh, of Yorick and Ampersand but there are some awesome characters that are near and dear to my heart and one of them is agent 355 so yorick's mom is a member of the u.s house of representatives so she hires agent 355 to go and protect yorick because she knows how important yorick is obviously and she knows that people are going to want him governments are going to want him and his sperm i know it sounds silly but it's actually pretty damn scary so 355 takes yorick and ampersand on this journey to go and meet this cloning expert named dr allison mann and she works to try to discover why yorick and ampersand survive what makes them special so not only that but also find a way to clone and bring back humanity and repopulate it so of course things uh <laughs> happen the laboratory and i think it was in boston gets destroyed now they have to travel across the country um meanwhile there's also governments that are wanting they have heard of yorick like and they're coming to try to take him because they want to repopulate their world and they don't want of course the u.s to be the first people with men again so that's what this becomes now i mentioned yorick's mom but he also has a sister out there so that's the basic premise of this book you have just Yorick trying to survive and 355 keeping him alive. The one thing I didn't mention, though, and we'll look at the omnibus here in a second to do a comparison, is that Yorick was in a relationship with this lady named Beth. And when all this happened, they got disconnected. Their phone lines got disconnected. So his journey is a little bit different. 355 and Dr. Mann are trying to keep him alive. He's just trying to get back to Beth so they can rekindle their love. 
So, of course, things happen, misunderstandings, and that's what this is. But let's look at the Omnibus and talk about what I think the best way to own this is and why. Finally, in 2019, we got this. The Why the Last Man Omnibus. So the Omnibus is huge. This book is 1,440 pages because it collects all the uh, 60 issues in here as well as some of the uh, some of the extra content. Now the paper quality on the Omnibus is different than the paper quality on the rest of the books. The rest of the formats have this matte pa paper to it, uh, the absolute being the thickest of them. Whereas the Omnibus editions is this glossy paper of course it's thinner because there's so many issues in one book and that's just the build of it so it's not as thick as the matte paper and honestly i think the artwork pops out a little bit more with the glossy finish that's the one thing this has going for it but it's yeah it's not as oversized as your absolute edition and remember, this is as tall as the oversized hardcover. So as I was talking about during this trip, they meet all kinds of opposing forces. And I'm not going to spoil anything or uh, look at the artwork later on because there are a ton of twists and turns in this particular series. Uh, but you have the, oh my, the, the daughters of the Amazon who have, they've mutilated themselves. Uh, to prove their point. Uh, you also have, like I mentioned, the army uh, from Israel coming over and trying to kidnap him. And that's what this series is about. It's about survival. So as far as the extras, uh, in the omnibus you have the sketchbook here, which showcases some of the characters, like the initial design for 355, who look, ends up looking a lot different later on. And then you have an early Yorick drawing. Uh, but in the absolutes, you not only get the sketches, but you also later on get the scripts, which I enjoy reading just to compare the script to the final product. Um, the binding, by the way, I've heard some people complain about their absolute binding, and to me, this one looks okay. This one looks good. Some people complained it's like the absolute swamp thing by Alan Moore, but I haven't had any issues with any of these three. And here's what the eye looks like on the omnibus, which isn't terrible. But, like I mentioned, it's a lot of pages. So in conclusion to me, if you've never read the series, I strongly suggest reading them in trade paperback. Each one of these trade paperbacks is $12.99 to $14.99, and there's a total of 10 of them. And if you really enjoy the premise and the artwork and want to own them in a better format, then the Deluxe Edition is a wonderful format. Like I mentioned, they're as tall as the Omnibus. There's all five of them. Each one of these is $29.99. And I think they hold up better than the Omnibus. The Omnibus is a big, thick book. And I know that people sometimes don't like big, thick books. Me, I love them, man. Thicker than a snicker, baby. However, in this case, so each one of these being $29.99, the Omnibus being $150, but you get every single issue collected in there. It's, you know, like I mentioned, it's really our preference. For me, it's one of my top 10 favorite Vertigo stories of all time. It's up there as one of my favorite non-superhero stories of all time. So I have to go with the best possible format, and that is the Absolute Format. Now, the Absolute Format, even though it's oversized, come in beautiful slipcases, are a bit pricier. They're $125 each, and there's a total of three of them. So yes, the most cost-effective way would probably be, if you like oversized artwork, to stick with the deluxe editions, you're saving a few pennies. Uh, but if you like it all in one, of course, get the Omnibus Edition. But as far as owning everything, the complete story, all the extras, all the covers, all the bells and whistles, and to have it in the best possible format, to me, I have to go with the absolute format. So that's it. That, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing the series in any of its collected editions format, check out our sponsors. If you live in Europe and are interested in buying and pre-ordering Omnis, then you should definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for Marvel and DC big books within the EU, flat shipping rates of 990 euro for all EU countries, extremely careful and sturdy packaging, and all emails will be answered within 24 hours. They also offer a superb selection of new titles and out-of-print books on their website. Just head over to waltzcomicshop.com for more great deals and rare titles. And for a limited time, you can use the code NEARMINCONDITION, all one word, at the checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order. 
Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They pride themselves on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in an excellent condition as well as prompt and helpful service. Check out the bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. CGN is excited to announce that they are now taking pre-orders. They're making it easier for you to ensure that you don't miss out on the hottest releases. CGN is currently running a special promotion for you minties. If you're a first time customer, let them know that you were referred by near mint condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order this promotion is valid for u.s customers only cheap graphic novels your source for the hottest books with a kind of deep discount and quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more and that is why the last man let me know which edition you settled for for me i think it's the absolute format i love the series and what it means to me so i think that is the best possible way to own it Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Ring that bell for notifications. Don't forget to come back to the channel on our Saturday streams. We'll be doing a huge giveaway, including some of the books that you see here on the table. Again, Uncanny Omar signing off. Everyone, stay healthy, stay safe out there, and much love.